Welcome to the Surfrace sponsored webinar on managing content and metadata between document libraries. My name is Josh Noble and I'm co-author of the book Pro SharePoint 2010 Search. I'm also a uh, SharePoint search consultant with Surfray, uh, which is the leading software developer of uh, SharePoint search enhancements. Today I wanted to take a look at a subject that we haven't gotten into a lot recently, uh, and that's how to actually upload and migrate content between SharePoint document libraries, and then also how to view content that might be located between various different document libraries. Uh, last month I did a webinar all about how to actually work with the views within a document library. So how to do things like uh, create new views, add new columns. Uh, we've also done webinars on how to actually add metadata columns uh, to SharePoint and uh, allow your users different ways of uploading uploading values to uh, to documents and adding metadata to content within SharePoint. But we've skipped over some really important steps in previous webinars all about just getting back to the basics. How do I actually upload a document to a SharePoint document library? And then if I want to preserve metadata that's already in place, how do I move content to a new document library without losing everything that my users have added? And then also it's equally important to know how do I actually view content back from various different document libraries. So I'm going to show you a, a bit about the content query web part that comes with SharePoint out of the box. And then I'll also take a look at Ontolica Aggregate, which is a brand new solution from Surfway, Surfray that allows you to view content based on metadata properties or searchable properties uh, across anywhere within your file share and within between different federated environments. So we'll take a look at that as well. So let's uh, just, without any delay, jump into my development environment here. So now we have a demo server in front of us that uh, many of you, if you've seen previous webinars on Surfray.com, should be pretty familiar with by now. We use this uh, for all of our various different webinars that are hosted by uh, Robert and Dan and myself. Here we're going to notice that I have several different document libraries that have already been set up. So on the left hand side of the screen we're just going to click on Shared Documents. Just to familiarize ourselves with a document library that has been uh, filled with information. So we'll notice that I have various different documents already here and I have various different metadata columns that have been uh, dropped in. Some of these are, by, are available by default, some of them such as uh, kind of the obvious ones like dream subject, dream quality, dream length. Uh, those have been manually added and then uh, filled with different values. If you're not familiar with how we actually added those particular columns, then make sure to check out uh, our previous webinars uh, all about those particular subjects. We have webinars on how to add uh, additional metadata v columns, how to fill them with values, how to request different values from your users, how to work with these ratings that you see right here, and not only in document libraries, but also how you expose some of those things to your search center. The only thing that is not out of the box SharePoint in this environment is actually uh, just this preview component that you'll see here. And uh, we might, if we have time, dive into that a, a bit later in this uh, in this webinar. But to, in, in our last webinar on working with document libraries, you actually uh, learned a bit about that uh, particular preview panel. For now, what we're going to do is just jump down to this Dreams document library. And I've already created this. And there's only a couple items that have been uploaded here. So starting with the basics, let's learn how do we actually upload a document to this particular document library. There's not a lot of data here. I don't really have a desire to migrate data from an existing document library. So how do we pull something maybe from my desktop and just add it to this document library? We can do that very simply, just like you would in most programs. It's pretty intuitive. You just go to this library tools section up top and go to upload document on the toolbar. And for now, we'll just upload one document. So we click on that. And we'll just choose something from that's already on my desktop. Here I have a PowerPoint presentation that we've used in previous webinars. So let's just upload that so we can uh, we can see what's going on there. You'll also notice that you can do version comments uh, just in case you have uh, your overriding ver uh, previous versions of a document, which is pretty common in base SharePoint. So we'll just click OK and we will uh, twiddle our thumbs and wait for this guy to uh, upload. Yeah. 
And now we'll notice that I have various different metadata that I can add to the document. Name is the standard one, uh, but you'd have a, a title to the document as well. And this is for a PowerPoint is just pulling off slide one. So let's just make that, that name and title the same. Also notice that I have uh, several different other values that I can tag in here. Uh, report category, report status, these are things that we've used in previous webinars and these are different metadata values that we're requesting from our users. So this is not out of the box default uh, functionality. You need to actually create these metadata uh, values if you care to request those from your user. For now let's just choose a couple arbitrarily. Let's just say category 2 and uh, period to date and we'll save that and that new PowerPoint is added to my document library and I have a bit of metadata associated with it. Let's go one step further now. How do we just add a couple uh, documents to the document library? So this, this time let's just go to upload multiple documents instead of just upload document. Now I can either drag and drop files in, or if we want to work like we did before, I can browse for files. Uh, we'll just go to my desktop again and browse for a couple files. So last time we uploaded this customizing advanced search in SharePoint, let's add these other couple webinar PowerPoints here. So we'll click on open, and those are queued up, and we'll click OK. And uh, now we'll just uh, wait a few seconds as those upload to this environment. And now we're going to click Done. We'll notice a little different action this time. Notice that it didn't actually request that metadata that we, we saw last time. When you upload one document to SharePoint, your users are going to get requested to add that, that metadata. If you upload multiple documents to the environment at one time, though, you're not going to request that information from your users. So for your users to actually add that metadata, they do need to click on the menu action uh, for edit properties. And then they'll be given the same exact menu that they had before, where they can choose the various different properties. In our other document library that we looked at before, I'd get different options. I'd maybe have dream length and, and dream subject, uh, but you'll see those in other uh, various different webinars. So it's really just that basic. You can either upload one document or upload a bunch of documents just with the consideration that if you are uploading multiple documents, you're not going to request that metadata from your users. So now let's actually take a look at how do we migrate content from one SharePoint document library to another. We saw that I had earlier this shared documents document library. This has got a lot of various different metadata in it. So maybe I want to actually preserve that metadata and throw it into a new document library and work with it from there. Maybe I need to copy a version of this for uh, storage purposes, maybe uh, I need to do some compliance, maybe I need to share that with an additional team so that uh, each team can manage their document libraries completely independently. Now keep in mind you're going to have a bit of redundancy in your environment if you do that, but that might be a desirable effect. So the first thing that we're going to do is go up to Site Actions and we're actually going to create a new document library. So here I'm going to create do create new document library and let's just call this webinar so we'll just call it webinar and I could put a description in if I wanted uh, various different options here but uh, just for basic sake we'll just do that so now I have a brand new document library with no information in it yet that's just called webinar now I want to actually pull content from this shared document library to this brand new webinar document library to feed it with some data to do that I'm going to go to site actions and then site settings And then I actually want to go work with the content and structure of my site, so I'm going to do exactly that. Click on Content and Structure right here. Now I can see from a high level all the various different document libraries, all the different search centers, all the different sites within my, uh, my particular site collection here. We'll notice that I have this shared document library here. 
And now you can see actually all the different values, all the different metadata, all the different content that we were seeing in that shared document library already. If I want to just migrate one or two or maybe ten items, I can go through and manually select the items that I want to migrate from this document library to the new document library. If I want to select all of them, I can go up here and click select all items. So if I do this, I'm literally just going to mirror the document library that I already have in place. And that's what I want to do at this point. We'll just select all and then we're going to go to actions. And here I now have the option, do I want to actually copy the data, or do I want to move it completely from one place to another? Maybe I need to transfer control of the documents in that document management. So instead of being in my general shared documents document library, I want it to be in a specific document library for the engineering department. Maybe you have a general document library and you haven't done much structure around it right now, and you need to start migrating content out to different departments, creating different document libraries for those different departments, and letting them own their own information. In that case, you could choose the various different documents that you want to migrate and just move those pieces so you pull them out of this document library and place them in a new repository or in this case all we're going to do is just uh, copy so copy and move actually works very similar it's just one you're copying it one you're actually going to pull it out of the document library and move it to a new location so I'm just going to click on copy and now I just have to choose where I want to copy it to I'm going to click on webinar right here so that's my new document library that we created and click OK. And now we just need to wait for a few minutes while that all transfers and hope that it works correctly. If for some reason this doesn't work correctly like we're seeing right here, all I need to do is actually uh, close out my uh, browser and open that back up again. It's, uh, I don't really have a really great explanation of why that particular issue is occurring. So we're going to do exactly that. Uh, we're going to close out the browser and hop in here and do that again. So give me just a second and I will, uh, I will do that and uh, be right back. So now I've closed out my browser and I'm, I'm back in my document library and we'll just try this again. Uh, as you can see here, uh, even in webinars we have issues, so you're not the only one that might have a few problems with SharePoint and run into just a few bugs. Uh, so again, we're going to choose everything. We're going to go to Actions, Copy, and we'll just choose this webinar document library again and we will kick this off and cross our fingers that this time it's going to work for us. All right, we got past the uh, the stage we were at before, so uh, looking good. Looks like we're going to be able to migrate that. Now keep in mind, I didn't do anything else when I, in that break except for close out the web browser and open it back up again. So I don't really have a great expect, uh, explanation for why that particular bug occurs, but just in case you do run into that issue, uh, just exit out your browser and, and open back up and get back to this particular page. Fortunately, we're not copying data between a bunch of different document libraries really frequently, so uh, that's uh, kind of just a tolerable issue. So we'll notice now that I do have all my documents that have been added to this new document library. Let's go take a look again at my uh, front end of the site to uh, actually see that document library. We'll just back out. We'll go to Site Settings, and we'll just kick back out to the front of my site. Now we'll jump down to this webinar document library, and we'll notice that all my data is indeed added here. Only problem is, you notice I don't actually see my uh, my metadata that, that was in this other document library. In my shared document library, I have a whole lot of really good metadata there. And the whole point of this was not only to migrate the content, but also to migrate the metadata. Well, this is a problem you probably uh, would run into, and don't worry, your metadata is actually there. The problem is your view just hasn't been set up so that you can actually see it. We haven't done anything with the views in this document library. So all I need to do is go up to this library tools pane again and modify the particular view. So we'll do modify view. 
And I, uh, I've shown in my last webinar about all about uh, working with the views and document libraries, uh, how to actually work with these in a bit more detail. But this is a pretty basic step. You'll notice that in this view, we haven't shown all of our various different metadata columns. So let's just add in a few just to prove the point here. And we'll click at dream length, dream quality, dream subject, dreams, those kind of types of ones there. So we'll just choose to actually show those metadata columns in this view and click OK. And we'll see that my metadata has now appeared. So it did migrate with me. I just wasn't seeing it in the particular view right off the back. And I have some other metadata that I could view here. But you'll see that uh, this actually just allows me to, uh, to view it. Uh, the metadata is there. So now let's look at not only how do we get content into SharePoint and how do we migrate that content and move it between various different document libraries, but how do we then retrieve that content back? Maybe I'm on a, uh, on a particular uh, site and I want to view content with a couple different properties and get rid of other different uh, content. So I want to have a really consolidated view of aggregate information. One way that I can do that is working with the content query web part in SharePoint. So let's jump in and actually see what that content query web part is doing. And for that, I'm going to jump over to this Surfray demo site. Uh, so right here.